In this video, we are going to talk about estimating before we divide with decimals. Estimating involves rounding. So what we're going to do is we're going to round these two numbers in this division problem to friendly numbers that are easily divisible by each other. So our first problem is 59 and 4 tenths divided by 3. The closest whole number that we could round 59 and 4 tenths to would be 60. So we're going to round that up to 60. We're going to divide the second number into 60 as long as it's a nice friendly number. And we know that 3 can easily go into 6. So I'm going to leave that as 3. I'm not going to round it because it's already a friendly number. It's already in whole number form. It, is, it isn't a decimal. So let's do this division. 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then we're going to bring that 0 over. So our answer to this problem is going to be in the tens place because 20 is in the tens place. So I'm going to circle that box. And now when I actually solve this problem, I should have an answer in the tens place and that's how I'm going to know if I'm right or not. So I'm going to take out the decimal for now and I'm going to solve this using partial quotients. So I'm going to take out 100 groups. And I'm going to take out 90 groups. And I'm going to take out 8 groups. So I'm going to add my partial quotients. And we know this answer has to be in the tens, so we could put our decimal back in the tens place just from knowing that. Or we could also use the method where we move over however many times our decimal needs to go into the answer. So our decimal is one spot in, so if we move one spot in here, our final answer would be 19 and 8 tenths. And that answer is in the tens place, and it's very close to 20, so we know that we are correct. In this next problem, we have a, a first number that's in the ones place, and a second number that's in the tens place. So what that's telling us is that 2.94 is a smaller number than 14. When this happens, when the first number is smaller than the second number, there's not going to be a lot of dividing. We're basically going to be making a fraction. So let's round 2.94 to the nearest whole number, which would be 3. And we're going to divide by 14. So when we do this, we're going to turn this into a fraction. The smaller number goes on top, 3 divided by 14 on the bottom. We've just made a fraction. When we make a fraction, we know that a fraction is going to be less than the whole number 1. 3 fourteenths is less than 1. So anything less than the 1's place is going to be in the 10th's place. So we can automatically circle that first box. Now what some kids do when they see this problem is they do the opposite. Instead of doing 3 divided by 14, they may say that it is 14 divided by 3 which we know is somewhere around 4, and they automatically circle the 1's box. Please make sure that when you see a problem like this and the first number is smaller than the second number, that is going to be a number in fraction form, or if we divide it out into the decimal answer, it's always going to be less than 1. So make sure you look carefully at the first number versus the second number, making sure that if that first number is smaller, you know that the answer is going to be in the tenths. In this problem, we're going to round 88.5 to the nearest whole number, and then we're going to divide by a friendly number for the second number. 88.5, the nearest whole number, would be 90. And we're going to divide by that second number. Now, 5 can't easily go into 9. We can't do that in our head quickly anyway. So we're going to change this number into a number that we can divide quickly into 90. So I'm going to put a 3, so I'm going to go down just a couple numbers from 5. Because we know that 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then we just bring our 0 over. So this answer is going to be in the tens. So we circle that tens box. I'm going to go ahead and do this quick division so we can see if our answer is in the tens place. So with the traditional method, you can leave the decimal in your first number, and what we do is we just transfer it straight up. 
So I'm going to put that decimal in my answer, do some quick division. And we get 17 and 7 tenths, which is in the tenths place, so we know that we are correct. In this problem, we have 6 and 428 thousandths divided by 4. Let's round that first number to a nice easy 6. Go all the way to the whole number that it's closest to. And we're going to divide that second number. We're going to pick a friendly number. So 6 divided by 4 wouldn't be easily divisible in our head. So let's go down one number and let's divide by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. We can circle the 1's place. 